Hey guys, I'm back with another video of Beauty by Sambina. Um, so welcome to my video and uh, any new viewers, anybody who doesn't know me, I am Samantha Renee, AKA Beauty by Sambina. That is my starting platform. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, almost anything you can think of. If it's, if I have an account, it's gonna be Beauty by Sambina. So go ahead and give me a follow. And also don't forget, if you're watching this video to like and subscribe, so that way you can stay tuned for more of what is yet to come. I've got a lot to bring to the table and I am just so excited to share everything with you guys. So I am a solo esthetician slash PMU artist. I specialize in brows. I got certified in 2019 in Dallas by a business called Beauty Made to Stay. And throughout the years, I have dove, dove. I have dived so much deeper into my passion and into the beauty business. In 2023, this recent year, I went to um, the Aveda Arts Institute of Houston, a full-time student for the esthetology program. I graduated and I got my esthetician license and I just knew I wanted to run my own business. It has not been easy, but damn, every day has been worth it. I now rent my own studio room underneath another business called Lash Lady Co. That's where you can find me. If you're in the Texas area, I am located in Oak Ridge. A little bit about myself, I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota. I moved down to Texas when I was 15 bounced back and forth a little bit when I was 18 and then eventually I planted my roots here and this is where my domain is going to be. So that is a little bit about me and I just want to go over some educational purposes in this video. This is about an extraction facial tutorial and I just want to go ahead and explain to you guys the importance of extractions the sanitization, all the way down to the tools, the proper way to do them, and why it's important to do it. So in this video, I'll be doing a voiceover. That way I can thoroughly explain each step and what I'm doing. And maybe it'll reach another solo esthetician and help them discover something that they didn't know. Or you might just be somebody who enjoys watching facial videos and I'm totally okay with that too. So whichever your niche is, I'm here for it and I am here to bring something to the table for you guys. Comment below if you guys have anything you want me to share in the next video. If you have anything you want me to go over, maybe give you a blueprint on, any business tips, ideas, just anything. Uh, I love it all. It, it truly lets me know how much I'm engaged with the, with the social media world, I guess you could say. So, all right, let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> beautiful souls and welcome back to beauty by sambina's sanctuary of skincare wisdom i'm samantha renee your guide to a radiant and healthy complexion today we're diving into the art of educational facial extraction so grab your favorite skincare tools and let's embark on this journey together now before we delve into the techniques let's talk about why extractions are a crucial step in skincare Proper extraction not only enhances the skin's health, but it's also going to pave the way for a clearer and more vibrant complexion for your client. And first things first, a comprehensive skin analysis lays the foundation. Understanding your client's unique needs is key, so we'll also touch on some pre-treatment steps to ensure the skin is prepped and ready for the extraction, extraction process. Sorry, y'all, I'm not perfect. So right here, this is part of my protocol. I like to start my service off with an invigorating facial massage. This is just going to ensure my client's comfort and relaxation to really get them in the zone for their facial. Because they came here for that. 
And then when you go ahead and do your facial massage and you have your techniques together, whenever you get to the temple, you're going to want to slow down and really rub that nice and slow. I don't know about you guys, but when someone rubs my temples, it just puts me in a whole other galaxy. Especially when our clients are living their day-to-day -day lives, this just gives them that extra oomph when they come in to see us. As you're applying your products on your client, your techniques are going to be vital and key to ensure that you are getting enough product absorption. Using effleurage movements are a great way to make sure that your product is getting everywhere that it needs to. And during my pre-cleansing, I like to use a more mechanical or an extra help for the deep cleansing. Um, this is just going to really help get all of that debris and all the dead skin off of the skin. So that way when I do my skin analysis, I have a more clear view of my client's skin type and any concerns that I need to address during this facial service. I will be able to unveil all of that by doing a nice deep pre-cleanse. And if you're a solo esthetician like myself, building your own business and running your own business, utilize what you can. Don't feel pressure that you have to buy the most expensive products to get the results that you can. You can still buy low budget stuff and give your clients those amazing results that they're desiring. And don't forget, everybody starts somewhere. After we're done pre-cleansing, we're going to do a steam towel remove. Make sure that you are always checking the temperature of the steam towel on your wrist as you do not want to burn the client and create uncomfortability during the facial. As you can see right here, I like to incorporate a nice steam towel pressure massage before I remove the product. And when you are steam towel removing a product off of your client, you want to remove the product in a downward motion, keeping the product from rubbing back up into your client's skin. First things first, a comprehensive skin analysis lays the foundation for your client. Understanding your client's needs is key. We'll also touch on some pre-treatment steps to ensure the skin is prepped and ready for the extraction process. You definitely don't want to miss this step. Analyzing your skin, your client's skin is going to be key to understanding their needs and so that way you can address them and you can also discover any contraindications that may prevent you from performing any services or treatments. You're going to want to start off with the decollete, moving up to the platysma, the mentalis, buccinators, your zygomatic arch, and your frontalis. You want to check your client's temperature because that's going to let you know how much that product is going to absorb into their skin depending on their temperature. Now we're going to go ahead and go in with our second cleanse after I've done my skin analysis and figured out my client's skin type and what treatments I can customize for this client's facial. And this cleanser is going to be more on the softer side just because you don't want to disrupt your client's skin. You want to avoid cre creating any inflammation or any redness to the skin. That is why a softer cleanser is suitable when you are doing your second cleanse. When 
you perform your cleansing on your female clients, you're definitely going to want to cleanse in an upward motion coming up towards the client. And then when you do your steam towel removal, that'll be going downward. It is going to be a little different when you have male clients. You're going to want to do a downward motion the whole time just because their skin is different and they have facial hair. And if you are going upwards, that can definitely create some uncomfortability during your service and for your client. And you want to avoid irritating the skin at all costs. After my cleansing rituals and mask protocols, I will always apply a toner to the client. We will spray it on there and then we will press in the toner as needed. This is going to reset your client's skin pH balance back to its original place. This is going to ensure our products work the way they need to. My next protocol is applying rejuvenating serum. I do this before I add my comp oil. This is going to keep her skin rejuvenated before we start our extraction process. Next on the to-do list is going to be my dry brush exfoliation. This is going to ensure that those dead skin cells are being removed and exfoliating. And this is also going to enhance product penetration for the next treatment step. I like to do this in threes. I work my way all the way from the decollete all the way to the frontalis. As I'm applying my composition oil into the areas that are going to be extracted for today's service, I am going to take slow, gentle movements and rub that oil into the areas. Now I have a little bit of a edit on here, so it's gonna make my movements seem faster than they are. But I'm just taking nice, slow, deep movements while I massage this into my client's skin. Once I am done doing this step, I am going to apply an exfoliation mask to the client before we get started. This is just really going to help make sure that my client's skin is open for the extraction treatments. This mask has several benefits. It is my Lemon A Detox and Glow Micro Peel. It has lemon, papayan, apple, and pomegranate. And this is a deep pore cleanser, a skin exfoliant, and a skin brightening glow. This clarifying peel is going to cleanse the pore, pore, uh, cleanse the pores of excess oil, dirt, and pollution. It's powered with vegan enzymatic peeling of papayan and deep pore cleansing extraction of apple and pomegranate extracts. Vitamin C renews and brightens the skin for a radiant glow. And while this mask sets on my client's skin, I'm going to perform soothing, relaxing massages in the areas where my client says she feels most tension throughout her day-to-day -day activities. With tools in hand, let's explore a variety of extraction techniques tailored to different skin concerns. And remember with your client, it's all about gentleness and precision for optimal results. So as you can tell, I am holding my client's nose very taut and I am performing this extraction with my tool in an angle where it's not creating too much pain but I'm also firm enough to make sure that I am getting all of the gunk all of the whiteheads blackheads and any built up dead skin that is on that area for my client I love using this tool for my extractions I just feel like it really gets everything I have a few other tools that I've used but none of them give the results that this one does and you can find this tool on Amazon um, very affordable it doesn't cost too much now you can see all of the 
all of that nasty stuff I got off of my client's nose. She was in need of this. After I am done doing extractions, I'm going to apply an exfoliant to the face. This is going to be a nice antiseptic. This is going to ensure that no bacteria is going to stay living on my client's skin or create any infections. Afterwards, I'm going to apply toner as I have previously before we start the next face mask. Post extraction care is just as crucial. I will guide you through a soothing skincare routine to minimize redness and inflammation. Plus, we'll discuss the best products for post extraction bliss. I recommend using a jelly mask that has calming and soothing purposes for the skin so that way we can reduce that inflammation and minimize the redness. On this client, I am using the pomegranate jelly mask. It's ideal for those with any hyperpigmentation and dark spots caused by environmental stress and sun damage. This is suitable for all skin types. It has really good benefits, um, brightening and whitening of the skin, prevents and reduces early signs of aging, and evens out complexion and reduces redness. It's also refreshing and invigorating, which is a really good benefit after doing or performing, I mean, extractions on your client. Also, during the extraction process, I did want to emphasize that communication is an art, especially when it comes to our clients and performing an, extra an extraction facial. You definitely want to communicate during the whole process and manage any expectations the client has. So now I am going to be applying another serum. The serum I am now applying is going to be a recovery serum. This is an important step after extractions. Now I'm going to apply my eye cream. The eye cream that I'm using has niacinamide and caffeine eye bright cream. This is going to offer several benefits and you just want to apply a dime size amount onto a finger and gently pat or rub it under your client's eye. Now here I am applying my hibiscus unspottable correcting oil. You're just going to want to apply two to three drops to the face and you are definitely going to want to rub that in to the face, the neck. This is a correcting oil and it's really good for moisturizing. Um, I highly suggest doing this before applying your moisturizer. The moisturizer I am applying right here is going to be a multi-protection antioxidant 24-hour moisturizing cream. It comes with the broad spectrum SPF 15. You most likely always want to make sure if your client is booking a facial during the day that their moisturizer has SPF in it. We want to protect the skin from any UV rays. I also want to emphasize that building trust and meaningful connections with clients should be at the heart of everything you do. Um, it is definitely top tier to locking in regulars and creating lifelong clients. Now at the end of this facial, I'm going to end off with the rejuvenating mist as I go ahead and pat that into my client's skin and then ending her with a rejuvenating and invigorating stretch, especially since she's been laying there for an hour. This just kind of helps wake up those muscles in my client. So as we wrap up today's tutorial, I want to thank you for joining me on this skincare adventure. If you found value in our time together, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share your thoughts and questions below. I love hearing from you, and until next time, stay glowing, sis. I will definitely see y'all soon. And don't forget, make it your mission to make someone's day.